Hi, I'm Keith Severson and welcome to It Smells Like Sunday. Today it smells like applewood smoke. Smoke from a fire that we started in our pizza oven. We've got a nice fire started and we're going to make a rustic pizza in a wood-fired pizza oven today. Magic happens when you make pizza. And part of the magic is because of the oven. We've had this fire burning for about two hours now. Not only do you want to heat the chamber and heat it slowly, but heat it all the way, the magic comes from heating the deck. It's a real thick ceramic deck, and that's the sort of thing that will make a crispy crust, the kind of crust that we enjoy when we're eating pizza. It's also part of the challenge. When we try to make pizzas at home, we can't recreate that sort of magic. You can try by using a ceramic pizza stone that you put into your oven and you're going to crank your oven up as high as it'll go, but it still doesn't create the wonder that is pizza from a pizza kitchen or a wood-fired pizza oven like this one. The second part of magic that happens when you're making pizzas is from the dough. It's a bread dough basically, a nice yeasty dough. It comes from a high gluten flour that will create the long strands that help transport pizzas. The pizza delivery van, if it's coming from a delivery van, or the luscious toppings from the pan to your mouth. The gluten strands is what create the magic in pizza. Here is some dough that I made earlier, and we're going to form it into a ball that will help us with a second rising of that bread dough, and will help us make a pizza. You can see the bubbles coming up to the top from this, and we're making a nice tight ball. Tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in, and then not rip it, and your dough ball is ready to go. We'll let this go for about an hour, hour and a half, till it comes up to temperature and rises and, and doubles in size. And that's what we have here. We've got some dough balls that I've done earlier, and we're ready to go into making our pizzas. Now we get to do the fun part, and that's forming our pizzas. We're going to start with our pizza dough. This is a dough knife, nice utensil to have, very useful in, in getting this off of the pan. I like to use cornmeal and flour when I'm forming this. This is a dough ball that's been exposed to the air for just a bit, so it's got a little bit of a crust right here. And I'm going to show you how to pull that back and form that nice edge that's going to be the handle to your pizza when you get to eat it. It also pushes out the air bubbles, you can see right there, so it'll cook evenly. And you just turn it all the way around. We've done that all the way around, and we've got a relatively round pizza. This is the start of our pizza. Then we're going to pick it up and slap off the excess, and as you slap, again you're working right around this edge, stretching in here and not stretching the middle. Then comes the fun part. Toss it in the air and actually that force will stretch it out and make it thin and nice and round. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm going down on just straight cornmeal on this pizza peel. Today we're going to start with a pizza margarita representing the colors of an Italian flag. The white, red, and green of the Italian flag and named after Queen Margarita in a pizza making contest, legend has it, many years ago. So we've got our nice dough out here. We're going to put a little extra virgin olive oil on here and really not sauce this one today. Next we're going to put on some fresh mozzarella. Then I'm going to add some beautiful red ripe tomatoes. Get a nice firm tomato here and slice it as thin as you can because when you're in the oven, it's going to cook very quickly. And then some basil, that beautiful green fragrant basil. And then just as a topping, I'm going to use some shredded mozzarella cheese, the drier kind. And that helps bake on top, and you'll know when your pizza is done from that. So there it is, pizza margarita, and we're ready to go into the oven. 
So pizza margarita going into the oven. Super hot oven. And the, the cornmeal that I put onto the pizza peel will work as uh, ball bearings going on there. And it's going to flame up and get nice and toasty in there real quick. We're going to firm it up and just spin it a little bit. Cooking very rapidly in there. Get a golden brown all the way around. And as soon as that cheese gets a few golden brown spots on the top, then you'll know it's done. And you'll have pizza margarita from your wood-fired pizza oven. So pizza margarita out of the oven. Uh, again, rustic is the key word. You're going to get some dark spots, light spots, a little bit uneven cooking, but you learn about your oven that way. And uh, then you're ready to slice it. And that's that nice crunch that you were looking for. Into the traditional wedges and onto a plate, pan, or however you're going to serve. Pizza margarita from your wood-fired oven. Okay, the next pizza we're going to make is going to be very traditional American pizza, just a pepperoni and cheese pizza. We'll use a red sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni. I'm going to put in a little garlic and herb crust this time. You just add the garlic and herbs when you're making your pizza dough. Nothing to it. Form it the same way. Now, pizza sauce. A rich tomato sauce, I like a lot of spice in mine, some oregano in particular. And Americans have gotten to be very po uh, partial to a uh, sweeter pizza sauce. Then some shredded mozzarella. And again, I'm, I'm focusing on the outside. Everything will rise up and f flow toward the middle. So focus on the outside when you're putting your ingredients down. And then a sliced pepperoni. Again, I go right out to the edge and work my way around from out here. Pepperoni pizza ready to go in the oven. Oh my word. It looks just like a pepperoni pizza right there. It does. <laughs> Remember, it's not glass to glass, but soul to soul.